hello, live, by live me recording. Hello, it's RazTW, and this is going to be the only save I'm going to be doing on here for a while because I'm lame and I can't be asked to stream because streaming is lame and everyone gets to see me at 9 o'clock in the morning. What time is it now? About 10. I cannot be asked to be doing this right now. But, this is the first room I want to show that but I'm using a mod from from January 2017, that was on TW16 because I'm odd. And that's about it, really. It's, I think it's just kind of get into the first show, to be fair. So, in a pre show about that, subcar wrestling, no crowd heat at all. Walter, one of the signings that we did make, we met, I did make a lot of signings, that's the thing. Let me drag me with a dot at the end. Make sure you make sure you make sure you remember that dot on the end, yeah. <coughs> Corona. Oh, I'm gonna get demonetized, fuck. Big Van Wall debut is bad. Like, he got a great gimmick, you know, that's a bit lit. He got a 34, so he wasn't that off. He wasn't too far off. But yeah, he beat with a golden bomb, so he's giving him a win. Really? Shayna Baser comes out and gets the exact same treatment. Winning in 10 6, 20, 10 06 with a knockout punch. She got a 36, that's better than Silo, which I didn't really expect. She got a poor gimmick, though. As Ansel was off again, too far. You're gonna see that BJ Whitman is probably off his game a lot, but or oh, could have done better as a road agent because we only have one, one road agent, which I didn't really check before starting the show. Magician. But next, Jay White defeats Leo of Rush with a missile kick. Yeah, I didn't really expect much. They're both off their game. Actually, I did expect better than this, to be fair. But they're both off their game, so. And it's pre show, it's just to give Jay White a bit of momentum. Karabushi defeats Will Ferreira with a 6A in 922. You got a 55, oi oi. Evil and Karna, are you kidding, bud? Uh, 40, that's not bad for a pre show. Will got a 19, Kai got a 55. BJ could have done better as a road agent. Well, that's, that's just unfortunate, lads. But it's not part of some noise and crowd heat. Yeah, 55, can't really say much else, so I think we've got the main show now. We do. We start with the player character Stephen Amell. Yes, Stephen Amell. I was just supposed to use characters from fuck it. Stephen Amell is. Wait, what was it from the show? Hello everyone, it's my new vision and project. Ring of Honor was in some financial trouble, so I decided to step in and here we are. This will be your same Ring of Honor, but with this time with some Moxie. I had no other words. I felt we need to die after the wrestling world, so I've had to retire the tag team belts. And we'll focus on the trio as the moment of competition. Yeah, I'll just... If we've got trios, I don't really think we need to have tag belts. And I know it's going to be controversial, but... Who cares? Trios are more interesting, and I like, love us up a good faction. We'll see our chat... And we'll see our trio champions, the Kingdom, defend the titles next. In the main event, we'll see Adam Cole, the former Rainbow One champion, who starts his rematch course for Carlo Riley. He'll be taking on Bobby Fish in the main event. As long as he's going to have to face against his Rue Dragon Palmer, Carl O'Reilly, at the next pay-per-view, which I think is the anniversary show in six weeks? I don't know. He's a vigilante, though, and he got a very good gimmick. <laughs> Aren't I funny? Moving on to our first match, it's the Kingdom of the Rebellion. And obviously the Kingdom win. We're not going to make them drop the titles as soon as they've gone. As much as I don't think the Kingdom are the best fit i need to wait for some signings to come in so that there is there is actually teams that can go up against them because i feel like apart from bullet club there's nobody else who you can really rely on to put good for just decent solid trios matches and i don't really want to be just give the bullet give the bullet club a fucking 60 for a year long reign so yeah delirious could have done better at the right nation as well Basically, we're going to need more road agents because everyone is crap. <laughs> Moving on. A video plays hyping up Bobby Fish and Adam Cole. Of course, the road agent was not good enough. Because why would he be good at all? And then the Young Bucks challenge Redragon for a match next week. And that says they just challenged them for a match. But no, they're challenging them for a match next week. This obviously is launching the World Title Story. Now. And I'm going to just book that in right now, boys.
So that's booked until next week. Obviously, you didn't see that because I don't think I've display capture on. If I do, that's unfortunate. But moving on. Into Marty Scroll's first defense of his Ring of Honor World, World Television title, Maxwell Jacob Feinstein comes out. He's one of the new songs that we did make. And he got he got, he got a great gimmick, to be fair. I didn't really expect that from him. Yeah, Marty, he's going to be a dominant champion. He's a He's a great worker, he's British. That's one of the two things that you need. VA makes defense on one of his ring on the title. 41 from him and a 34 from Jacob Pring or Jacob Feinstein. I'm going to have to get used to calling the Feinstein and I'm just going to call them MJF. But yeah, the colour goes much boost, the boost flavour of the month. So, why would he not be? Oh, the 13 boys. Oh, big here, lads. Mike Scott was celebrating and he stopped. He's just. Attack Feinstein to the ground. Oh, delirious, 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 delirious. Alright, I didn't expect to get 43 to be fair. That's, that's pretty big. The decent wrestling but a little heat cancel road for your ODB with the moon's up press. Cancel road. Obviously, great work if we've gone over this. And delirious could have done a better job as a road agent again. Who would have guessed? Yeah, 46 from Canada, so 48 from ODB. There's a... <laughs> oh, alright, I'll announce it, I'll announce it next episode, but there's not, we're doing something big for this, for the women's division, so this will make, this will make more sense next week, next week, dun dun. Adam Cole's getting ready backstage as his match is up next again, well, can you guess the red? It's the road agent being terrible again. The right angel being terrible again. Who would have guessed? Six, a uh, 35 second right now. I'm hoping, hoping this minimum can save it. It's a 50. And Cold Street Bobby Fish and 20, 23, 27 with a flying crossbody. And Cold get a 55, Bobby Fish with a 47. Obviously, it's just to get the challenge for a bit more momentum. Even if there's nothing about it. And that will close the show. What do we get? We've got 45, Christopher Hoffman in 16 regions. I wish you could see our broadcast video. Our broadcasting is a bit bad. We've not got a lot of broadcasting for us. It's a little bit, a little bit terrible. But, it's showing Chris Hoffman. It's 45 second, 45 overall rain. I never even really mentioned we're in New Jersey. Going for West, 313 people we have to watch. Some solid wrestling. Yeah, that's 16 regions. Not too bad. I think that's going to close off this first episode, to be fair, lads. I don't really have much else to say. Apart from, well, take care. Well, no, I'm just... Take care, boys, in a bit.